Hi everyone, uh, my name is Peter uh, and uh, I wish to tell you my story about uh, why I choose Ruby. Uh, about three years ago, uh, I went to shopping to buy uh, one Python book, but, but I can't find any. any. Uh, so, uh, as I, I was leaving, uh, I found one about Ruby. Uh, I sit down, start reading, and after this chapter, I was like, oh my god, I can't do anything with this language. Uh, and after these three year years, uh, I have a couple things I can do uh, with, with Ruby, and this is my short list. Um, first, uh, multi-inheritance. You can do this in Ruby uh, because of syntax, and uh, you can don't also. The implication of this is you can't include class uh, to class because uh, after include you need put mod module name because uh, you get type error, and and this is not 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 fun. Uh, next thing is object unfreeze. Uh, in standard library, you have only freeze method on e each object, but you can unfreeze object. Uh, how annoying is that? And next, uh, you can e you can't easily change class of object. Uh, even you know that uh, inter internal representation of the object is the same, but only methods uh, is different, so why not? And uh, for dessert, bonus syntax, like in CoffeeScript. Uh, uh, you can't use instance variable as argumento method. Uh, you need to uh, write something like on the bottom, but this is huge part of code for lines. Uh, so normally I should end this presentation and uh, <laughs> say goodbye. You can do the TV through me, but what if? Yes, what if I told you you can all these things do uh, with in Ruby and step by step how to create a solution uh, without without C extension because uh, you probably think I will write a C extension but this is not true uh, first of all uh, you need clone MRI repository and find uh, Ruby header. Uh, after that, I already said that you will probably think I will uh, write a C extension, <laughs> but no. Uh, so what we can find in this file, for example, constants. Uh, this is uh, first four lines. This is object IDs. Of this ob of the objects, for example, nil is always four. When you execute nil uh, object ID, you will get always four. This is magic number, <laughs> um, and we can just just simple move this to Ruby uh, module. This is copy paste and nothing nothing more. Uh, looks simple. Um, Next, we can find in this file aliases, uh, and also move this from a C file to a Ruby module. But how we can how how we can create alias in pure uh, Ruby? We can use dynamic linker. Uh, I, I, I use this because dynamic linker is part of uh, Ruby standard library. Uh, and this, this dynamic linker don't have any documentation. Uh, so, uh, 
when you uh, want to create alias, you need to require dynamic linker import, extend your module, and uh, just execute type alias. In this way, you can create aliases for, uh, for types. And next one you can find in this Ruby header file is structures. You can use also struct method from dynamic linker. And uh, this, this look like this. And uh, basically, every object of Ruby uh, have a basic structure and additional things. But uh, every object have, have this structure. So when we, can, when we want to create more complex object, uh, we, we just use this basic and add additional things to, to this object. And, and after that, and long and boring import, because this file is quite huge, uh, we, can, we have all constants, aliases, and structures in our Ruby module. Uh, so how we can refer to the object? In Ruby, uh, we have object ID. From 1.9 is uh, method object ID. In 1.8 is ID. Uh, so when we multiply object ID by two, uh, we have integer representation of pointer in memory. Uh, and when we can refer to this object, uh, we can create an uh, object of class uh, of structure. Uh, for example, uh, our object is composed by our basic and some additional things. Uh, and uh, after this all imports, uh, we can do uh, what we can't on the beginning of the presentation. So how we make, how, 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 how can we make a multi-inheritance? Uh, in this way, uh, we cheat Ruby into thinking that uh, this object is a you know, module because module is singleton and uh, have flex uh, uh, the same as module and class of this object is uh, pointing to uh, module uh, module singleton. Uh, we can unfreeze object. This is just opposite of FL freeze. Uh, and change class of, of object. Uh, we just change pointer of, of class. And Ruby thinks this is uh, object of an another class. So I can show a quick demo. OK. Uh, so I have here a uh, plain uh, installation of Ruby from RVM 1.2. Uh, when I require, oops, when I require my evil Ruby, I can create a class of my array and include an array but change this to module. And I have my array. Is just array. Uh, <laughs> but uh, of course, because of the same internal interpretation, uh, internal uh, representation, we can change class of this, of this object. Uh, I create. What is the class right now? It's my, my array, right? Uh, yes. And a class. My array. Uh, so I can change to array. <laughs> and I have array class. Uh, of course, okay, I, I can 
define method and uh, once again open class uh, and include array and create object <coughs> and I can change class of this object to array and execute hello Bow, no method. <laughs> uh, of course, I can freeze. And of course, I can't modify frozen object. But I have unfreeze method now. <laughs> and of course, I can once again modify. Uh, uh, this is default argument. Uh, so, uh, if you write in CoffeeScript, you are familiar with that. Uh, so, after a few slides, we can do this in, in Rubinius, uh, in this case, uh, because it's much simpler to modify. And I get this error, this, this error, I can't use formal arguments. Uh, so, I grab this uh, <laughs> error and find. So uh, when par parser recognizes that you can you pass uh, instance variable to method declaration, just just write error. I can cut that and <laughs> <laughs> and try try again. Uh, but uh, Ruby in this state don't recognize uh, this, this argument. So I need little debug. Uh, and uh, Rubinius provide method to, to abstract syntax tree. You can uh, look how, how abstract syntax tree uh, looks like when compiler works. So our important uh, instance variable is default. Uh, in this case, we have nil, so uh, this is not good. Uh, we can execute this on proper uh, abstract syntax tree and look uh, how this should look like. And uh, we can see here uh, as defaults is field, is not nil, and is create an object of default arguments and uh, local variable assignment uh, in, in the middle. So, uh, so we need to remember in this state uh, method uh, name with instance variable is the same uh, as without. So uh, this argument is required now because we, ha we, we don't have equal nil uh, after that. When we open this formal argument class, we see that required uh, is false, so we do not pass any arguments. Uh, that's why in previous example, this doesn't work. Why? <laughs> because of that, uh, I... Uh, I can just cut out error and suspect that this should be working. Uh, I need to uh, pass uh, first match to, to compiler and uh, AST generator should have uh, every information about arguments uh, after this change. So uh, after this change, everything seems to work. Uh, I have requi required argument, uh, but the name of this argument is still invalid because you can't can do this in Ruby. <laughs> uh, so we need to change the name of this argument. So cut off your sign and and <laughs> move this the, uh, this argument to default. Uh, and after that, uh, we need to handle empty method because we can uh, create 
this initialized method with uh, instance variable argument, but uh, we need to uh, assign this value to instance variable of this object. Uh, so default implementation of this is uh, code on the bottom. So if you create empty method, just create new literal. Uh, and this should be, looks like this. So after we uh, create empty methods, should be filled with instance variable uh, equal this instance variable name without first sign. And uh, the old if implementation is on the to on the else if block. Uh, so we create uh, instance variable assignment and assign this to local variable of the same of the same name, but without fields free sign. And quick demo. This time with Rubinius. Uh, okay, so we can create class Ruby and use our new syntax. And everything seems to work. We can, of course, create accessor to this instance variable. And should return name me. Works. So, uh, impossible is nothing. Uh, if you want to include a module to include class to class, you can uh, download my gem. It's called include. Uh, <laughs> works fine on <laughs> works fine on Ruby 1.3. Uh, I don't test it on 2.0, so uh, you can test it and just use method 2M or 2Module. And thank you very much. Any questions out there? <clears throat> Some, well, running some arbitrary code, which in itself is some kind of a security flow, but uh, is it yeah. possible to untain object to further? Yeah, yeah. Th this, this is on a flag on object. So uh, if you grab a proper uh, constants, you can uh, just uh, create end operation of this, and you uh, in 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 the result you have untied object and freeze untied and everything. <laughs> <laughs> But this is not thread safe and all. <laughs> Any other questions? I would talk to Michael. Uh, did you try to unextend objects? Uh, to extend objects? Uh, yeah, you can, you can use. Uh, on GitHub, you can find Ruby Evil, Evil Ruby. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a C extension. And there, there you can find uninclude method. But uh, implement this in Ruby is hard, so uh, I don't don't do this. Uh, but you can do this. Any other questions? On there. I guess uh, if you set the class, uh, for example, uh, of your MyArray class to something like fixed num, bad things will happen. Ah, uh, we can we can check that. <laughs> <laughs> um, for sure, I know uh, if you can create oh, create class um, and include, for example, array. Uh, Two 
Aha, OK. Uh, and uh, will be new. And change class to hash. Uh, works. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, when I, for example, um, create class who inheritance from array and hash, uh, should just crash, no? <laughs> uh, oh, syntax error. Uh, so. Oh, car dump it. 